Events like these semi-annual conferences are perhaps the most visible things that the Energy and Environment Affiliates Program at Stanford does, but they're far from the only thing. We do put on two of these conferences each year, each one on a specific topic that's determined by your interests and the interests of Stanford faculty. Today's, of course, is big data for energy and environment. Past conferences have looked at topics like smart energy and energy efficiency, materials and chemistry, sensors in harsh environments, energy storage and batteries, and so forth. We're always eager for your suggestions for what topics you'd like to see in future conferences. You can make those suggestions in any way you want. And of course, you'll all be getting an email with a link to an online survey so that you can give us your feedback on today's event. In addition to these semi-annual conferences, we also run the new faculty seminar series, a seminar series that we launched a few years ago to provide all of you a chance to meet with our new faculty that often have some of the craziest and wackiest ideas that are still trying to decide what their own research agendas are and are still establishing relationships with people like you. We offer those three times a year. They're small events. It's a chance to get to know the faculty member and his or her colleagues in detail. But the larger part of what we do, kind of like the part of the iceberg that's below the waterline, is our private meetings. Many of you know that we meet quite frequently with our members and prospective members. We help you to figure out what your strategy ought to be for engaging with the research and professors and students at Stanford, and then we help to structure and implement those relationships. For the companies that decide to join the affiliates program, we work with you closely to develop a strategy that meshes your corporate strategic plan with an action plan at Stanford, and we develop a customized work plan, all the things we'll do for you during the next year to realize that plan. Lately, in addition to all the technology and policy and regulatory and finance issues that we focus on, we've also been doing original research on the innovation process. This is designed to understand by looking at successful examples of innovation, how we can make sure that your relationships with Stanford lead all the way from the right question, through the research, through discovery, through coming up with something that's practical and can be commercialized at scale. Those of you who know Stanford well know that one of the things that distinguishes us is that we are entrepreneurial and we are pragmatic and the culture of the researchers here is to not only do good scholarly research but to also do things that can in fact change the world. The energy and environmental problems that we're all concerned with are problems of scale, and as such, we can only have an impact when we find opportunities to translate those solutions into things at scale, and your companies are often the best way to do that. For the last four years, our flagship program for our affiliates program members has been something that we call the Fellow Mentor Advisor Program. We transfer half of our members' membership fees to a professor that they choose, and we use that to establish a relationship between a PhD student, the professor, and an employee at the company. This is a chance to develop a great relationship with two-way communications. The employee of the company becomes a mentor to the grad student, and the company gets to experience research in progress as the triumphs and failures proceed. In response to many of your questions, we've now added an alternative to the Fellow Mentor Advisor Program that we're calling Focused Groups. We've now established groups of professors in specific areas, and the companies that join the Affiliates Program can either participate in the classical Fellow Mentor Advisor Program, or they can opt in to one of our focused groups. We've established focused groups in batteries, and we're in the process in response to your requests to establishing focused groups in photovoltaics and smart grid. And we're open to establishing these groups in other areas based on your interests and the interests of faculty. For the first time, it gives people like you and companies like yours a chance to engage with a group of professors and their students in a particular area. So please let me or Marjorie Alfs, the program manager for the affiliates program, know if you want to hear more about any of those opportunities. 
As you all know, events like today don't happen without a lot of help and hard work from a lot of people, and I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge who they are. Marjorie Elfs is the program manager for the affiliates program and handles all of our activities. Donna Casarlia is our administrative associate and has been involved in much of the logistics and arrangements today. I'd also like to acknowledge Jessica Castillo, Aisha Masood, Nancy Sandoval, Sunny Wang, and Sneha Ayagari, who's an undergraduate here and has been working with us on our new initiative in sensors. So please join me in acknowledging all of them. <laughs> 